Hello, my name is Andrew Duffy, and I work here in the physics department at Boston University. I would like to introduce you to a course on edX that will help you prepare for the AP Physics 1 test, or will just help you learn some physics. Physics is the study of how the universe works. In this course, we focus on basic principles, looking at how and why things move. We will also introduce the basics of how charged objects interact and how simple circuits work. We may spend a lot of time talking about idealized systems, like blocks on frictionless surfaces, but we will also discuss things like why the Earth travels around the Sun in a roughly circular orbit, rather than crashing into the Sun, which would be very bad for us. If you're planning to take the AP Physics 1 test, then by the end of this 16-week course, you should be very well prepared to do that. As much as possible, we have tried to duplicate the format of that test in the course assessments. What if you have no interest in doing the AP Physics 1 test? That's perfectly fine. You're very welcome to take part in the course and learn about some basic physics in interesting ways. Labs are a key part of the AP Physics 1 curriculum. We've tried hard to come up with lab experiences that take advantage of the online environment. Some of these labs are based on simulations. Others are based on high-speed videos of particular experiments with measurement tools overlaid. You get to decide what to measure and how to measure it. In some cases, lab reports will be peer graded. We provide a rubric and your report is graded by other students and you grade reports of other students yourself. Throughout the course, you will have the opportunity to ask questions and interact with me, the course team, which consists of several high school physics teachers, and thousands of other students from all over the world on our discussion forum. Take advantage of that opportunity. No matter what your own goals are, by the end of the course, you should have a much better understanding and appreciation of the world around you. We take a lot of things for granted in our daily lives. This course will give you an opportunity to reflect on basic questions, such as, how is it possible to walk across the floor? Why does a ball follow that particular path as it flies through the air? How does my toaster work? And other questions like that. It should be an interesting journey, and I hope that you will enjoy it.